get people who like sell on their trophies on eBay, but then you have to give them your login details. So I'm going to give you 50 bucks and then give you money to fucking uh, go into my chat. Yeah, okay, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> that dumb, stupid fuck would do that. Hello, hello, everybody. I am <laughs> FTA. I'm Mikonos fan. And welcome back to another FTA Mikonos fan, All Stars Gaming. I'm going to call it Season 2 because we have a renewed purpose to keep these videos short and not wind up doing full LPs of games. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> yeah, the doing Streets of Rage was a mistake because we ended up doing full LPs after that. Yeah, because Crash 3, if you all remember, <laughs> it wound up being a whole full, game. And then Spyro originally started as an All-Stars game and then we thought it's too good to be an All-Stars <laughs> game. We learned our lesson. I um, instantly have the controller. Yeah, you play. I wanna... I'm not a fan of this game. I would say it's right off the bat. But oh, we were playing Cra Crazy Taxi, a, a you know cult classic Sega game. I just immediately wanted to change this um, stretching because, oh, oh, and we just downloaded this on Garrus PS3, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> uh, we were debating how, doing a video just on the PS3 interface and how awful it is nowadays. I used to slow. love it. I used to love the PS3 interface. Now it's not really yeah. good. Go to the store and try and get something within three minutes on the PS3, <laughs> and you are a divine individual if you can. Be it as... <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, oh, ooh. Well, first off, um, I don't think we'd get copyright strike, but just in case. No music. Uh, you know, this doesn't have the original music for the PS3 port, so I don't, I don't care. It, this music can go off, and no, honestly, it's not that bad. It's just not the original. Not the original, yeah. But oh, yeah, as, how do I, we play? I, as Chris said, kind of, we're gonna go back to the original intention of All Stars Game, where we just showcase. Mm -hmm. uh, games, so we're going to be doing a bunch of games that we don't either have enough to say or don't really want to do a full LP for, mm -hmm. and we're going to go back to doing some more multiplayer games. We pretty much such as Crazy Taxi. We've, actually, we've pretty much done all we can do with Sonic games in terms of multiplayer, so we're going to start branching out into non-Hedgehog related multiplayer games. Mm -hmm. Always pick Gus, by the way. My favorite. I like to imagine this is is Gus from Recess all grown up. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> So, let's see. Oh, okay, that's how the PS3 version works. Uh, I've been sticking with the PC version lately, because you can mod the original music back into that. <laughs> and um, you can also get the original voice clips back in, because where this game's been ported around so much, I guess at some point they messed with the audio. Um, so, like, in this version, Gus is extremely deep. It's really, really unsettling. <laughs> and every character voice is off, so... Were they, were they redubbed or just fucked with? Uh, maybe both. I don't even okay. know. Like, I haven't popped in the original for a long time, but when I put in the, um, there's a mod out there and I put it in, it's like, yeah, that's what, it's what I actually remember Gus sounding like. Because I know the, uh, the iPhone version has the original soundtrack. Yeah, which, <laughs> that confounds me to this day. Well, it just, it just goes with, with Sega, um, iPhone versions being the best, like Sonic CD, mm -hmm. or and the... Not, and not being able to get them anywhere you actually want to play them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Because I don't, uh, I'm actually, I, again, I'm not really a big fan of, of this game. I, you know, I, I, I see why it has its fans. I just don't mm -hmm. really like the control scheme. And playing oh. this on an iPhone sounds like the worst thing imaginable. It is not fun. I tried it. Um, I mean, I already have a bias against uh, touchscreen gaming Same on phones, but if the NX is purely touchscreen, I ain't buying it. <clears throat> uh, so, I guess for my history, uh, well, this was. First in the arcades in 1999, I think. Mm -hmm. and then it came to... Oh, hey, look, look at that. What's that? Uh, fuck it, who cares? There's nothing there that matters. <laughs> um, it was in the arcades in 1999. I think it came on Dreamcast, at least in the States, early January 2000. So we got our Dreamcast at home, late 99, with Sonic Adventure. Crazy Taxi was the next game we bought. So those... You know, Sonic Adventure was my first game. Crazy Taxi also mm. pretty much up there for me. A game I probably shouldn't have been playing due to the language within it, but... How bad is the language you're in it? Um, like, like, what's the th worst word you hear? There's a hell, there's a damn, maybe something in the music that implies something bad in the original soundtrack. But, like, so it's not like things SA2 of, slash Shadow. Uh, very mild. Not things a five-year-old should be hearing. Mild, you're damn <laughs> right, Knuckles. Such as the um, pastor you can pass around here that'll say, Ah, what the hell? Pastors aren't supposed to say that out of context. That's bad. But yeah, um, this game has a very not fantastic controls, which to me is part of the charm. Oh, what? But I can see picking it up. 
You apologist, you crazy taxi apologist. Well, I didn't say it was good, I said it's part of the charm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I will say this is part of a time when, when Sonic, when Sega in general Sonic. were, were um, really pumping out new IPs. Mm hmm. And I miss that era. Yeah, of these Sega. really weird fucking crazy things. Like Crazy Taxi. Like, uh, the only other. Uh, oh, the only other time I could think of someone doing something like Crazy Taxi, they got sued for it. They got, yeah, we should. <laughs> Uh, Simpsons Road Rage on the PS2, GameCube, and uh, Xbox was literally a crazy taxi clone. Yeah. It was um, uh, developed by EA. No, EA. Yeah, e EA. Um, and Sega sued them. Yeah. And I'm, I, th I can't remember if they were successful or not. I feel like they were. Um, maybe you can look that up, but... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's, it's just weird how, like... Is it? Can you like claim something like? This? I mean, like the, the next. I wonder that the next Simpsins game they released, Hit and Run, was Call a Grand was a was a Grand Theft Auto clone. Yeah, and I don't I don't remember ever hearing um, of of Rockstar suing them. Oh, a PS3 froze for a second. Uh, that never happened. I'm sure if Rockstar wanted to, they could easily have won that case just because they can throw billions of dollars around apparently. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I figured I'd throw you a bone and bring that up pretty quick. I should actually pay attention to where I'm going. You're on the I'm so side lost, of the road, you crazy I'm so bastard. lost in the conversation of Crazy Taxi. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Pockets ahead, Shasha! Bitch, I'm getting drunk after work, I don't care. So, off, so the, the point of this game is just to make as much cash as you can. Yep, make as much as you can, as quickly as you can. Um, pull off all the tricks to get more money, such as, uh, you know, crazy throughs. Um, I think there's some advanced trickery you can do like drifts and crazy turns and shit i am not good at that that requires thought and effort and skill so i just drive around like an idiot without utilizing any advanced techniques yeah, it's I, fun to me i'm gonna i'm gonna assume because i haven't played too much of this i'm gonna assume there was no police element no no okay no. i don't uh i've only played a little of two and i played three in an arcade setting i never encountered a police thing so um thankfully because that was a little more toward the GTA camp. Well, see, again, uh, I, I had no idea this game had, had sequels, so there was a 2 and a 3? There was a 2 and a 3, um... Were they just arcade? No, the, um, 2 was on Dreamcast, 3 came to Xbox, the original Xbox exclusively. Okay. Uh, there were some PSP versions of 1 and 2 that I think added some things. Uh, there was... <sighs> Crazy Taxi City... Crazy Taxi City Rush on mobile phones, that was like the hard light um, developed game with the Crazy Taxi Creator. It was right. more of a um, microtransaction-y kind of thing. Um, so just like Sonic Runners. Yeah, and like you drive in like, it sounds kind of dumb because it's a road, but lanes, if that makes sense. There's like three paths, kind of like Dash, if you wanted to oh, okay. equate it to that. Yeah. I like how you just know all that. Like, yeah, get in my car. Let's go. Let's go. So you can trust me. <laughs> oh, my favorite is when the car stalls like this. God damn. Ah, there we go. Yeah, you'll, we'll make it to the RB station, guy. Trust me. Yeah. Um, this is one of those um, game series I think Sega actually does need to um, bring back. Bring back. Put a downloadable thing on consoles for. Just make another one. Like, I, it's hard to mess up Crazy Taxi. Oh, <laughs> fuck that guy. Well, yeah, it's weird because we've been over this, but so many of their IPs are perfect for downloadable games. I was like, going to say, I think every time we play a Sega game on FTCR, I <laughs> always come back yeah. around to that point. It's like like Speaking this, of. Street of Rage, Golden Axe, Knights, all of them perfect mm -hmm. for like a 15 buck downloadable game. And I feel like those names have still penetrated well enough that like, people know Crazy Taxi. Not everyone, but mm. enough people know Crazy Taxi, Golden Axe, like... Altered Beast is kind of shit, but people know that name. Again, I said it before, it, it boggles my mind that there's been nothing with Streets of Rage. Yeah. For, since, like, the fucking Mega Drive. Oh, I'm not gonna make this. Sorry, guy. Uh, so, uh... Hmm. Let me fuck this woman so up. So is it game over when the... How... No. <laughs> you, you just lose the money and the time. Gotcha, okay. And so, with, I, I take it with, with every successful trip you do, you get more time added. Uh, in arcade rules, yes. Okay. Because there are a three minute, five minute, ten minute rules, which just see how well you can do in this allotment. Uh, this guy's gonna marry someone. That painful cardboard looking woman. <laughs> but just, she, she made it. Who yeah. just disappeared. She, she vanished, but she made it, don't worry. 
<laughs> the fried it. chicken shack. I just love that there's people standing on a fucking... In the middle of a fucking field. I know, all right? Like, come a, over here. On the side of a hill. <laughs> like, hey, I want to go to the not KFC. So from what I understand, you know, this is... Uh, especially the first one, because again, I had no idea about a two or three. But one is... It's really regarded as a kind of a, a kind of arcade classic. Yeah. Especially also a Dreamcast classic. Very mm. much so. Uh... Jesus, we just right. picked you up, dude. Well, back you go. <laughs> and it's been like, dude, like uh, I'm, I'm sure that you know there are like uh, people who prefer the console version over the Dreamcast. Is there one where like one is viewed as the superior version? I think um, you. I don't know much about the arcade like history, but I'm assuming this hit near the end of like the boom of like with the start of the decline. So I think a lot more people know it from the Dreamcast port than uh, the arcade. So I don't know, some people have a yellow um, circle around them. Some people have red. What's the difference? Um, that's basically a difficulty indicator. Okay. Like the darker the color, the easier and closer they want to go, and like the easier the route is. Um, so the oh. smaller and more green it is, the farther they want to go. You would think you would think something like uh, a hard red would dictate it's more difficult. difficult. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of weird. I think it's thinking in terms of like a dollar. So the greenest is the hardest to get, but you get the most money from it. Oh, okay. Because you're okay. you know driving farther, they give bigger tips, stuff like that. Also, your your grade does um, <laughs> matter, but Granny got Granny's got to go to the cops, so we're gonna take her. These models are like <laughs> they're not great. They look like N64 models, man. <laughs> like, they're not they're terrible. They look like Sonic Adventure people. I mean, you know. That's, you're it doing, was that time period. You're doing a disservice to the SA1 NPCs. No, no. This woman looks better than... Okay, maybe. Maybe Burger Shop statue. She at least looks better than that. <laughs> he doesn't move. I, That's because he's not I, real. I, I would but. argue he looks better because he doesn't move and you can't see terrible animations <laughs> with him. Oh. <Aww. laughs> there we go. That's Crazy Taxi. Welcome to Tree Town. Because... <laughs> <laughs> I had to work that one in. Granny's happy. All right, so we got 30 seconds. Um, I didn't get to show off all of this California knockoff. So, uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. So welcome to California. Fuck buses. Um, I think this is loosely San Francisco, particularly in that opening area with a trolley and you're going downhill. Mm -hmm. I think this is just a general, like, uh, see escape. Yeah, like amalgamation of like here's California distilled into a shitty game world, so... It's, it's City Escape with worse popping. Yeah, pretty much. I blame the Dreamcast for me wanting to go to California, because between this and Sonic Adventure 2, like, <laughs> I really want to go. So, um, let's check out how we did today. Now let's take a look. Uh, not too bad. A day on the job, $5,000. Yeah. $5,000 uh -oh. for, like, a, what, five, ten minutes work? Yeah, not bad. Like I'm raking in the dough. Oh, we got a trophy, Gareth. Oh, my first trophy. So original mode that might be a little confusing. That's um, if I'm correct, it's recur referring to the fact that this is an original stage. It's not the original from the arcade. Oh, okay. Because arcade comes from the arcade. It's a little confusing. Now I think this is also um, not California. Uh, BD Joe, I think, is the unofficial mascot as of Transform, so we're going to play BD Joe. I like BD Joe. I, I like to imagine <laughs> that, that Axel is active for Streets of Rage. Uh, me, me too. He's falling on hard times. Uh, Axel's license plate is the one referenced in colors, by the way, since we got to work something oh, really? into this. Yeah. Oh, so, so all of them have different... Yeah, they have different cars and license plates, stuff like that. But they all drive big yellow taxis. Yeah, they all drive shittily, control horribly. Is, is there a difference in control, or is it just... No. Okay. As far as I know... Maybe there's like some slight stuff, but I never feel it. I will say BD Joe's um, cab design is the one I associate with this game, even though I much prefer Gus, just because he just bitches about drinking beer while you play with him. So <laughs> I'm very shallow, if no one's noticed by now. Uh, BD Joe's got a nice big smile, he's just happy all yeah. the time. He, you know, he feels like he'd fit right at home in Jet Set Radio or something. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think there's many black people in Jet Set Radio, so... <laughs> there's Professor K, but I don't know about any others. Ah, we should do that sometime. Watch this space, people. <laughs> so here's a used car lot, you know, easy way to 
cheat and get some extra cash out of that. So, so do you get extra money by, by smacking stuff? Uh, no, by like narrowly avoiding cars. That's how you get money. You get money from jumps like that. You know, the crazy throughs. And you build a combo and each thing gives you more money. Stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Normal. Oh, oh. Get out! Get out, you <laughs> bastard! So let's take a... Yeah, let's take a dive. In aquatic mine. <laughs> Some people are underwater, so <laughs> you can go. What? You can go get them. This guy wants to go to the fire station. A little, uh, the a little irony, ironic. The irony there. That's be That's beautiful. I love his mohawk. That's pretty good. That's pretty Dreamcast. Dude, bringing back the mohawk. Good for you. <laughs> let's see this way. I'm not familiar with this map because I always go for the. Uh... Oh, there's a highway. Yeah, I always go arcade. Is it? Is, is it? Whoa! That that highway was pretty radical. <laughs> Sonic reference here. We spent the last five minutes talking about fucking city yeah, escape. Fair point. Fair point. <laughs> yeah, what's up? Sup, ladies? <laughs> I got you right up front. Fuck you, limo. I, I guess it's just a thing where I've I've never um, mm. I've I've never been been a, a big fan or like, I, I should say like a uh, of driving games. Not, not, not just driving games of of. Of arcade games where it's just the point is just to get a high, like to try and beat your high score. Um, I'm not necessarily like I mean I think those those are fun games to play, but I don't get into them. Mm. I, See, that's not why I play Crazy Taxi. For me, it's just the fun. It's the stupid sound effects. Mm. It's the locations are iconic to me because I grew up playing them a lot. Yeah, you know, it's just stuff like that. Like I barely ever acknowledge like how much money I'm making or anything like that. Gotcha. Is there is there just like maybe a cheat for like uh, just to like, play forever? Um, Cause that was, I, there are I, some cheat codes. I'm not sure if that's one of them. I, if there is, I need to look into it. Because I would have fun with something like that. Just do, you know, whatever. Just fuck around. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know if this one gives you, like, what the most is, like, ten minutes you have. Yeah. Okay. So you want to play Grand Theft Auto is what you're saying. It's, you know, yeah, I pretty much <laughs> just want to... I mean, th that was the problem I had, though, with Grand Theft Auto. I would never do missions. I would just drive around. Yeah. And, like, uh, do crazy I, shit, you know. I never did missions. We're recording this around E3 time, so Watch Dogs is a topic, but I played that. There was some story I didn't care, so I put about 20 or 30 hours into Watch Dogs, and I just kept doing side missions and shit, and, like, beating people up with his fake police stick. I didn't bother with the story. <laughs> I guess his daughter died? I don't know. I didn't care. <laughs> just like real life. Just like SA2. <laughs> just like SA2. Oh. The Parthenon Museum. Ooh, I never, never had to go there. I feel like... This uh, map is more confusing. It feels more uh, uh, disjointed. It doesn't feel like there's a right... I know I said this during Spyro and I'm going to eat my shit or whatever. It doesn't feel like there's a natural flow through this map, just like or unlike the arcade one. Mm -hmm. I feel like the arcade one does a really good job of funneling you around a large loop. This one just feels like everything's really segmented and I can't... I don't ever know where I'm at at any point. Like, in Arcade, I'll, I know it's like, oh, I'm near the trolley, or I'm near the mall. This one, it's like, <laughs> I don't fucking know. So, it's, so in, in terms in terms of the, this, the you know, because this is a Port of the Dreamcast version, there's yes. just literally just two maps in, Arcade and Original. Yes. Okay. Huh, that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. You think you think even for a Arcade game, there might be a few different levels like to choose from? Four or five maps or something. Yeah. yeah. I... It's Sonic Car all over again. This game's shit. Car. I'm, I might be talking out of my ass here, but I feel like um, two also had two maps, and three had three or four. And one of two of three's worlds were just remakes from one and two. So like one of the ones is the first arcade level from here, just remade in three. Okay. Yeah. So I think there's maybe one original map in three, and it's like Las Vegas. Two um, features around New York City. Oh, cool. Yeah. Or, yeah, as good as New York City can look on the Dreamcast. I, I just imagine that being a taxi driver in New York has to, <laughs> has to be one of the worst jobs you could ever possibly have. Oh, yeah. May as well Uber there. Actually, no, that's probably even worse. It's the same thing. It's just like... Just <laughs> having, if you hate yourself. Having a job where you have to drive around, like, I, I would hate that in New York. If you if we have any taxi or Uber, dri Uber, Uber drivers in New York City, let us know what it's like. If not, write some fan fiction in the comments, and I'll download them. <laughs> you download comments? Download. Oh, yeah. I said download it. Okay. I'll, I'll download your comments. I'll right-click, save as your text. <laughs> I'll post it as my own. 
Fanfiction.net, baby. Oh, oh. oh God. Oh. But you know, I, I you know, it, even, even though I, I said I wasn't, you know, a big fan of this, which I do think it's a lot to do with the con the controllers. It's very atypical for what racing game controls normally are. Yeah. But it is. If you want to, because Chris is the one playing. I, I have no interest in playing this game. Because <laughs> if you want to explain what the what the button controls are, because it's fucked oh, up. Um, uh, R2, I'm playing on the PS3. R2 is accelerate, L2 is stop. Uh, square and circle change between reverse and drive. You know, circles drive. Uh, I said square, but I meant X. It's very uh, unwieldy at first. And couple that with the games, and I, I would think intentionally bad control a la old horror games. Like, it's meant to be hard to grasp. Uh, it's just a weird, really weird game to play. That's why I said earlier, like, I, I think if you're just coming into this fresh, you're probably not going to like it. Mm. it. It seems like something you did kind of have to grow up on or invest a lot of time into to kind of, like, for it to click. Again, for me, it was just, like, it's... I've oh, never... No. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I've never played a racing game with, like... Uh, reverse and stuff being on like X and, and yeah. Square, it's very awkward. I, I feel like at this time, like I haven't played too many um, late 90s racing games, but I think Gran Turismo isn't that accelerates on like the X button. I, yeah, well, I feel like that was more standard back then. Yeah, especially like PlayStation 1 era, it was normally like X was accelerate. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh no. Ah. Oh god, what well, the f Let's go this way. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So, uh,. No one is making it to this museum today on my watch, apparently. But you made an extra 75 cents by dodging that train. Yeah, we're gonna lose it, though. Of which there are no <laughs> the tracks. The wrong way! Oh, there's a little, little tracks there. Fuck, like, you, you literally <laughs> You're drove... Fucked. You drove underneath it, that's why I fucked you over. <laughs> I just thought that that guy's now stuck in a tunnel with moving trains. Again, as, as I said, even though I don't necessarily love this game, if they did, you know, 10 buck download, where you know they fix the controls, fix the because the popping like, annoys it's not me. Great. Like that that bus, people watching the video will know it just dropped in with like it's the rear up in the air and it fell to the ground and started driving. Like it's 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 weird. Part of that might be this port, but I feel like even on Dreamcast it was like that. I, I station. Everyone's calling the cops on me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know why it would be worse on like this. PS3 is obviously like a lot more powerful than Dreamcast. I don't know why that would be that would be causing. Unless whoever ported this just did a really bad job. I'm not. I don't yeah. know why that and would. This is from the Rush Job port era of Sega. This. So you know it probably is Sonic Adventure DX, Sega Bass Fishing. Yeah. I think Space Channel Five Part Two wound up okay-ish, but did this was before they started taking more care with the uh, Heritage Collection, like SA2, yeah, this Nights, was and Desert Radio. This was 2010. This port, that era. <laughs> it's nice to finally have some like classic Sega games on new consoles, but we all know how those initiatives shuttered out. Yeah, you know, I, I will say Sega had been one of one of the <laughs> Sega had been one of the the better companies for keeping their backlog available. Just in some ways, they don't I mean that they're they're there. They just don't always put effort yeah. into them. If you're looking for a Genesis game to play, you're pretty well set but like if you want to play some Saturn games or Dreamcast games your options are really limited on newer mm. consoles of course part of that is Saturn is notoriously hard to emulate yeah so, well good future thinking there with that design <laughs> fuck off well I have I have, I have heard that um the thinking after the success of that uh Mega Drive hub. Mega Drive hub on Steam they're looking into other consoles mm -hmm. so you know I mean I'm not sure I don't even think the Saturn had a, uh, a big library of, of original games. Uh, it kind of did, just no one really knows about them. Like, I don't really know about them. So mm. that kind of invalidates my statement, but... Yeah, I, I think um, we're probably good on playing Crazy Taxi. Because you don't want to play, and I've kind of shown off the two maps. There is a mission mode. No thanks. Um, you know, there's, there's stuff to do. Kind of. <laughs> Um, other than that, just records. I mean, I, there's online scoreboards. I don't want to know how fucked up those are these days, but <laughs> uh, I think we can call an end to this one. We're probably the first people to play this in about five years. Nah, the Game Grumps did something with this a while back. This version? Crazy Taxi, I don't know, sure. Anyway. <laughs>
Hey, bye. I'm the Gunners fan. Bye.